excited to be here. Flea marketing with you. This is such a treat. In Paris. In Paris, my favorite city in the world. And you come here all the time. I do. I come here every weekend when I'm here in Paris. This is the biggest flea market in the world, you said. The largest flea market in the world. There's 75 acres of flea market. And it's just amazing. You can find something for anyone here. Look at that table. Oh wow, it's great. It's fabulous. See, what's great about it is these gutsy legs. You'd expect to have smaller, thinner legs, but these spindly, big, but, but these legs are great because it's got <laughs> real strength. And this could work as well in a in a contemporary sort of loft as it would in a traditional Absolutely. 18th century setting. So my question of the day is how does one know when you when you've come this far, you're at a market, even if you come every week, how do you know when to be spontaneous and just grab that thing that you love? And how do you know when to kind of be cautious and wait and bargain and come back? There are some things you just have to buy right then and there because you just they know. and also because they will be gone if yeah. you come back in an hour. Sometimes you just have to buy other times you sort of negotiate and come back a couple times during the day. It's all sort of a game. So you were here last week. I was here and there was an incredible beautiful buffet that's gone. Uh, and you can see all here, all these yellow tags, that means those are been sold and they're on, the, they're on their way most likely to America or to Russia. This is interesting. These are lamps by a company called Charles of Paris. They were very popular in the 50s. I first found a pair of these around um, 15 years ago. And I, they're actually my bedside lamps in Los Angeles. Now they're all the rage and you find them everywhere. I'm very drawn to these. What were these or what could these be? These are table bases. You just put a round oh. glass tabletop on top of this. And this is really what Coco Chanel had in her apartment was the wheat sheets. Great. Look at all these great decoys. These are probably from the 19th century. So fun, and of course, how he's arranged them as far as you to get more than one. Yeah. You have to have the whole lot. You have to have the whole lot, and look at all the mirrors. Just coming here and seeing how things are displayed, how things are, you start to see things differently. So, it's not just for sale one. No, I feel it, the complete lot. Of almost like an installation. Yes, indeed, yeah. So if you fall in love with something, what's the whole bargaining thing? A lot of people are nervous, they don't know if something's, let's say, at 1,500 euros. In your mind, if you love it, what do you think, you? how do you work that process? The first thing is you should always say that you're a dealer. You say, what's the best price for a dealer? And they'll usually will give you Usually 10 to 20% off. Everything is going to be less than the. Than is negotiable. Is Absolutely. less than what's on the price tag. Okay. Absolutely, yes. And cash helps, of course. It, they always will give a better price for cash. We'll take a little place over here where it's a woman who can find anything that you're looking for, and she's a real find. Susanna, I want you to meet Monique. Nice meeting you. Monique. You are the woman, I hear, who can she, find anything. She can I'm find trying. anything and everything. I, I love think. that. That's I like the best thing to be in the world. So what's <laughs> so, the what, what kinds of things has he asked you to find? Or what's the craziest thing anyone's ever asked you to find? I've been pretty pretty ordinary. I've asked you things like fireplaces. Fireplace and or big fountains. Big fountains. Yeah, we've had some wonderful big large stone fountains which have actually been carved then uh, in Italy or some old ones as well. Yeah. Timothy, don't you love this? I love it. Shell? I've got a tortoiseshell lamp like this at the chateau, but I have not lit it from behind. This gives me a great idea to do it that way. This is a bar. Yeah. This place has got a really good one. And it's Marc Desjoncins. So normal. 